So you all know that I have been exploring masternodes a lot over the last few weeks. I set up my first one the other day for Ether 1 and I got my first payment last night. It was like 23 coins or 24 or something like that. But I've also been exploring shared masternodes and I've deposited some coins for VTL, mostly vertical coin, on Crypto Hash Tank. I'm going to explore uh, Bishoy's Equipool or 1DS shared masternode service as well and deposit some coins there as well. But this is part of my strategy moving forward where I either mine coins to, to get a masternode or I mine just a small amount of coins, put them into a shared masternode and then save up and get my own masternode. But what I want to do in this video is talk about how costly these masternodes can be and talk about the fact that a lot of masternodes don't actually make that much money. Now, I touched upon this in a video yesterday where someone was saying that they've always lost money with masternodes. Now, I think that that comment was referring to the fact that a lot of coins were priced highly and then they went down, which, you know, as I explained in another video, is mostly to do with people dumping coins because they were, you know, a lot of coins were pre-sold um, because of an ICO or whatever, because a lot of people had a lot of coins and they had to dump them. I think it's fairly low risk from a, from a price point of view. Um, as far as the price going down, and that's not something... Can you, you guys hear that? There's an actual chip shop van driving outside, beeping the horn. Um, yeah, but that's not what I want to talk about. What I'm referring to is the actual cost of hosting a masternode, the actual cost. Generally speaking, the, the cost of hosting a masternode, generally, because it is different from coin to coin, but generally speaking, it's $5, $5 per month. It's not a lot. It's not a huge amount of money. But you can actually lose money because the coins that you bring in are actually worth less. Now, I was talking to Jack from Crypto Hash Tank about this and, you know, I've deposited a few thousand, yeah, a couple of thousand coins of ETL now. But he was talking about how basically a third of the coins on his service don't actually make money. In fact, they're losing him money. They're losing him money because it's costing him more to host those masteros than it does, you know, the, the money that he's bringing in. Now, obviously, he's doing it from a hosting point of view as far as the percentage he, that he makes. But it's not just that. It's not just from a hosting point of view um, for anyone hosting a shared masterno service. It's also for anyone who hosts a masterno themselves. And it's, it's kind of, it's difficult in his situation because I realise um, how difficult it can be to keep everyone happy. I suggested to him, why not just charge people a fixed fee every month to use a shared masternode service. But he said that he floated that idea and people just didn't want to do it and they would just go elsewhere if that was the case. Um, I'd like to talk to him about that more, actually. If you're watching, Jack, I'd like to talk to you about you know different ways you could probably make that profitable. But it does highlight that there's a lot of masternodes that just aren't generating enough coins and enough money to justify being hosted. And this is the case with Vertical Coin as well. Now, I'm actually, you know, I've been chatting with the Vertical Coin guys and looking at the price, the price of the coin was about 300 sats. It's down about 200 and something just now, 220 or something. Very, very low, very, very cheap. But, you know, it's the start of the project. It's to be expected. And also, you can't really criticize the, the project for this because every coin is down in price right now. But from a hosting point of view, from a masternode point of view, that's a concern. I worked it out, you know, I think he said to, uh, that for, you know, 3,750 coins that you need to host, uh, you know, a vertical coin masternode, um, you, I think you'll generate about 20 cents per day, works out about $6 per month. And then when you factor in your $5, you know, your $5 fee for your VPS, then you're left with $1 profit per month. And you've got your coins tied up in a masternode. It isn't very good, is it? It's not very encouraging and it's definitely not something that a lot of people want to jump into because, you know, the, the money just isn't there for the time and the energy and the hassle that you've got to set it up as far as, you know, configuring it all and all that. It's just not worth your well. But it's quite unfortunate, you know, but I'm I'm not I'm not too concerned about that with vertical coin because I looked at the project. It's not a you know like a large pre mine coin or like you know it's not like they've pre sold master or anything like that. They're not dumping coins. You look on the Discord. There's a lot of people still making developments. All the teams still there. They're still giving support. There's no panic in the Discord. It's just the fact that the logistics of what they've set up for a master node right now at the current price it isn't profitable, and it's kind of difficult for from their point of view because you know I'm not panicking. I'm not looking to sell my coins. I'm not you know 
I'm not caring that it's went from 300 sats down to 200 sats because I'm looking at the project, they're still developing it and all that. I think, you know, just keep the coins there for months. But from their point of view, they've not done anything wrong. But, the you know, the price on the market is affecting their coin as far as the masternodes go. And this is something that's quite difficult. We discussed this a lot in the SafeCoin team meetings um, as far as what the price point should be for a masternode. And it's quite ha it's quite difficult to set that out because when you get masternodes, sometimes the price jumps up. But ideally, in an ideal world, developers shouldn't have to think about price. They should be focusing on development. They should be focusing, focusing on features, which makes sense. You know, why worry about price? The price is something that's going to be determined by the market. It's going to go up, it's going to go down. But that shouldn't deter them from what they are trying to do as far as implementing features and all that. But it does affect what they're doing. You know, if vertical coin went up to 1,000 sats, all of a sudden it's a very profitable coin. A lot of people want to, to set up a masternode for it. But it's dropped to the point where running a masternode gives you a very small profit. And if it drops even more, it will either break even or you could be at a loss because of your VPS costs. And... It's just one of those things, you know, it's, it's nothing that the coin is doing wrong, it's nothing the team are doing wrong, but the market, all these coins are going down. Um, you know, they probably set up the requirement of 3,750 coins in the beginning thinking, well, this is a good thing. It's a very low requirement, very cheap to get a full node for them. You don't have to spend a lot of money at all, which I think is a good thing because I think it's going to bring more people to the project. The downside to that is that because the daily returns are low and because it's actually a popular coin for a masternode, people aren't generating enough coins from their masternode and they're only making slightly more than the cost of the VPS. And it just goes to show you, you know, I've seen some people complaining about a shared masternode service charging 5% fee. Believe me, these guys are justifying their fee because of, you know, all they're doing as far as maintenance and setting it up and the fact that they are incurring lots of costs as well. But I think the whole thing is, and you know, I find this interesting because I see this happening in every single coin. I don't want coins and I don't want the development uh, teams for coins to focus on price. I don't want them to to worry about price. I want them to focus on, you know, I want them to focus, sorry, uh, on the features. I want them to focus on what's on their roadmap, what's on their white paper, what they plan to do. But the reality is that the price of their coin, which is, you know, unless they start uh, interfering and doing any kind of pumping and dumping, which hopefully they don't do. But the reality is that the price of their coin does affect what they're doing. It does affect their pre-mined coins or their, their, or their treasury fund that's in every single block. That is directly affected by the price of their coin. The cost of their masternode and the profits from the masternodes will be affected by the price of the coin or whether people decide to, to implement an, uh, a masternode or not. And with, if people start pulling out their masternodes because they think, well, I'm spending more money on a VPS, I can just buy the coins, then all of a sudden the chain isn't as secure because the masternodes aren't supporting the network. So, yeah, as far as masternodes go, it isn't all doom and gloom, but, it, you know, it, you have to do your research, guys. As always, you have to do your research. You, look, you need to look at the cost of the VPS, which generally is $5. And ideally, if, you know, for the coins that I'm looking at, Ideally, if I'm setting up a masternode, even with profits down right now, ideally I want to get coins that are still going to bring me $20, $30 per month profit. And ideally, I'm going to select coins which in the future are going to be worth more. And that's why I'm leaning towards you know projects which are well, either secure, like Horizon, formerly known as Zencash, or they're on up and... I think with vertical coin, I'm not put off by the fact it's quite low because I think it gives it a lot of room to grow. It can't really go down too much more. Um, famous last words, I know, but I think I think it's got potential to do better. Um, but yeah, so yeah, in masternodes, I'm I'm thinking about the future price of the coin, but just from a logistics, just from a management and from a a business model point of view, I guess five dollars for a VPS is normally what you have to spend. Some higher masternode coins might require you to get a $10 VPS because you need additional CPU cores and RAM, etc. But generally speaking, a $5 VPS is what you need. And you have to look at your profits. You need to look at what the daily return is every day and then take that away. You know, work out how many coins you get per month. Look at the current price and see if that's more or less than $5. 
the fact that you know we're talking in dollars here means that yeah for some of the lower price master nodes it might not be worth your while but i'm not looking at it that way just now I, I, you know i can make a lot more money just working and doing you know other things that i do online with websites and articles and all these other things the reason i'm doing this is because i just want to set up lots of nodes i want to set up lots of nodes and see even if they just break even i want to set them up and then just get them on autopilot that's what i want to do so even if they only make me a dollar or two dollars per day I'm still very tempted just to get them set up. Saves me trading, saves me doing lots of things and just support the project for six months or something and then just see what happens and then take it from there. But yeah, you have to look at logistics. That's the point of this video, guys. You have to look at the cost of your VPS. You need to look at how many coins you'll make per month, how many expected coins and you need to look at the price of the coin. As long as you're not losing money, I'm taking the approach that as long as I'm making a little bit it's still the right thing to do long term because I'll accumulate coins. I don't have to go to exchanges and spend time doing that. I just let the coins accumulate in the background. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will be doing more videos about Masternodes because it is something that I'm focusing on more. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. I'd love to hear from those of you who have invested in shared Masternodes and in dedicated Masternodes that you've set up yourself. Let me know what you think about this as far as the logistics, as far as the cost, as far as the daily profits go. Um, it just goes to show you that if a coin sets a, a, a low requirement, which is generally, I think, a good thing to you know encourage more people to deposit coins and to set up a masternode, it can come back to bite you if the price doesn't support that and it doesn't support that business model. So, yeah, food for thought. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll speak to you all in the next one. Cheers.